So in this video, we're actually going to be focusing on how we use some of the basic numbers that we developed in the previous video to build the guessed coordinate point and the actual coordinate point that are going to be used for the student's guess and the actual coordinate that trace the f of x function in our final project. Coming over to our demo file, what we can actually see is that the input bar down here at the bottom is something that we're going to be using frequently. If you don't have an input bar, coming up here to the view menu and selecting the input bar right here, we'll put a check mark next to it, and you should have the input bar down here at the bottom. Coordinate points in GeoGebra have a kind of counterintuitive way of typing them because in most high school classrooms, and even in middle school, we say that coordinates are made by using parentheses. But you can see when we type in those types of coordinates, they're actually treated as a single column linear algebra vector. And for most high school math classes and middle grades math classes, this is going to be a bit of a confusing distinction to make for students. So to prevent that, we're first just going to delete it by right clicking and then selecting delete and saying what we're going to do is to actually build a point by using the built-in point command in GeoGebra. When you, you start to use any of GeoGebra's built-in commands, it will give you a list of what the suggested commands are. In this case, we're going to use the one that takes a single object. Now, instead of using parentheses, GeoGebra says that you have to use curly braces. And the moment you type an open curly brace, GeoGebra will automatically put in the close curly brace. And we can actually say that if we want to have the coordinate 3, 5, if we hit enter, we can see that guess now is actually located right here at 3, 5. The problem with this is that we don't want guess to always be located at 3, 5. We want it to be located based on whatever the student types in. Well, the student is going to type in the guess value, and it's always going to be located at wherever the x value is. So to fix this, rather than retyping all of that, what you can do is just press the up arrow while your cursor is inside of the input bar and you can see a history of everything that's been typed in. In this case, we're going to select what we had before, but this time, instead of putting 3 for our x coordinate, we're going to say that we want it to be whatever number x val is. And we want our y coordinate to be the student's guess, which is the number guess val. When we do that, you'll notice over in the graphics view, when I hit enter, guess immediately jumps here to 0, 0, because each of these two numbers are the number 0 in 0. You can see that if I change my guess val to be a different number, say 6, and making sure that I say val, guess val, that guess value will jump, or the guess point will jump from 0 to 6 right here, and it still stays at the same x val. The other thing that we need to consider is how do we actually create the coordinate actual? Well, we do that by saying the name actual is going to be a point. And just like we did before, we're going to use curly braces. And this time, what I want to say is that I want it to be located at the same x value as the guess. But this time, instead of letting the student guess what it is, I want it to be on the function f with an input of whatever that x value is. And notice that when I created the parentheses here to say that I want to input whatever number x val is into the function f, it automatically made the matching closed parentheses. So if you ever want to attach a coordinate onto a function, you would just say the name of the function, and I knew that it was named f from right here, and then in parentheses, whatever the input number is. When I do this, you'll see that actual gets attached to whatever I see this um, coordinate point here, because right now it's 0 and the function goes through 0. If I change my number xval to be the number 3, notice that guess also moves to the x value of 3, but it stays at a height of 6 because the student's guess is still at 6. Meanwhile, the actual coordinate point moves to the x value of 3, but still stays attached to this green line right here because we're always putting it right on top of that function. In the next set of videos, what we're actually going to look at is how do we adjust the style of each of these coordinate points, and how do we put in text boxes that will display what the numbers are for guess val and x val.